Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Yes. Welcome but to the show. Half naked and all. Yes. Congrats on the new book. Thank you, you so are much. a native New Yorker, yes. born in the Bronx, but parents are Jamaican. Yes. So I call myself Jamaican. Oh, sure. I like that. Okay. <laughs> and yes. you had a love of cooking all growing up as a child because you were in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen a lot, raised predominantly by all the women in my household, but I had an affinity for breakfast. My very first breakfast was scrambled eggs, I'll never forget, sausages and a bagel. And I thought I was doing something huge. <laughs> in New York, right? In yeah. New York, yes, exactly. Yeah, so, you know, it, would, it only made sense that later on in life I'd have a breakfast in bed cookbook. Very cool. And yeah. since then, your recipes have evolved. They've gotten a little more sophisticated yes. than just the basic eggs. Okay. For sure. Today we... you're going to do a, a great twist on a classic waffle. Yes, you guys had ricotta yesterday, so I figured, hey, why don't I keep the spin going? Love ricotta. ricotta waffles. And people always say, you know, Ooh. is that going to make them cheesy and stuff like that a little bit? But you'd be surprised. Ricotta doesn't really have so much flavor once you add it with the batter. What it mm -hmm. does is it gives it a nice light and fluffy texture. Oh, it goes into the batter. You're not it goes putting in, it on top. No, you're not putting it okay. on top. You're putting it in the batter, okay. and you could do either pancakes or waffles, interchangeable, but it does make it light and fluffy, which okay. is really, really great. And I paired it with a great lemon curd. Mm -hmm. Normally, you can have syrup, of course. Everybody goes traditional with syrup, but I do a lemon curd, which kind of like gives it a great kick. Oh, Which one is the least messiest in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to keep it a little messy, don't you? <laughs> Save some of that syrup for later. <laughs> All food would be served on the tray, on Lauren. On the tray, exactly, right. right. The you crumbs know. in their place, we're no one try, wants the crumbs. Right, we're trying to keep them in bed, but I think it's a great recipe. I suggest everybody do it. It's a great twist to your normal okay. standard waffles. Okay, a fun, yeah. unexpected ingredient. Exactly, and lemon curd, again, just mm. really adds a lot of like deliciousness to it. So, yeah, oh you just want to like drizzle that all over there. That's some yeah. sexy Curd. Definitely. <laughs> I even do it for like after dinner dessert. Exactly. Yeah. That sounds good. To oh me. yeah. And I have a breakfast and uh, breakfast after dark chapter in my book. So I love you know you can okay. have breakfast any time of day. So I don't think it's just for mornings. Oh, okay. that lemon curd is. It awesome. really does. Yeah. Exactly. It's a great twist to uh, instead of um, uh, syrup. But what are you, you know, show us how to make. There's your sweet. We have our savory. Okay. Crab cakes Benedict. Ooh. And crab cakes are you know it's all about the crab cake for this particular recipe. So I have what I got going on here. Some crab meat that you just basically store bought. Um, okay. We're gonna to add some I have some salt and pepper already in there Old Bay seasoning as well as some green onions as well as parsley okay. Okay. so I'm adding that all in there I feel like we're in your kitchen, just like... Yeah, yeah. Out <laughs> I guess because I'm half-dressed, right? <laughs> we're just going to watch you do it. <laughs> right, a little mayonnaise. We're just get a little mayonnaise, about a half a cup. Your egg, of course, you're going to get one egg in there, lightly beaten. Okay. And that's going to be really moist, so what you want to use is some breadcrumbs to kind of dry it out a bit. You don't want it to be too moist. So what I do is I put about two to four tablespoons in there. That's so the breadcrumbs? That's the breadcrumbs. Okay. I'm going to toss that in there. You stir it around, make sure it's, you know, got a good texture, not too, not too wet. Okay. Something like this. You're going to make your patties. You can okay. Okay. do small ones like those or you can do really really big ones and obviously put your poached egg or your mm. but then what you do is you put it in the refrigerator for like maybe 20 minutes mm -hmm. after you've gotten to this point it's gonna make it hard a little bit more okay and then you dredge it in some um, flour Okay. You know, you dredge in some flour there, and then you pop it in the oil. Yes, this is fried. <laughs> Will you wear a apron to yeah. work? I suggest everyone products. to wear an uh, apron. <laughs> I won't because I'm kind of like a professional in the kitchen. But yes, definitely, you want to go with um, um, something um, um, covering protect, up. Protect, protect, protect your skin. body. <laughs> protect your skin. <laughs> and you just fry it a little bit on each side. Get a little brown. Top it with a poached egg. You can serve it with or without the uh, egg English muffin underneath. Okay. I love it. It's great. It's a oh, great it's savory. Beautiful. Again, find out if your honey prefers sweet or savory. And or you can both. Go or both. Hey, you never know, right? Okay. Exactly. And you mentioned refrigerating it is important. That's just yes. to keep everything together. Yes, exactly. It kind of like tightens it a bit, you know, because if you pop it in into it, it might break up, you know? So yeah. once it's in the refrigerator, it's been chilled a little bit, it will get a little bit um, uh, more held together. Any tips for poaching those eggs so perfectly? I know. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. You know, it's funny. Uh, okay, so put a little vinegar in the water. I always suggest put a little vinegar in the water and spin, the, uh, take a spoon and spin the water. Okay. I mean, the, yeah, and then drop the egg right in the center. Spinning it, putting it in that whirlpool rotation will keep the uh, egg white near the um, yolk. Okay. And then plop it right out. Oh, my gosh. I think we have to ask, <laughs> what is your favorite meal to make? For breakfast? For, for your loved one. Uh, I'm, I'm a sweet. I'm okay. a sweetheart, so I love all things sweet, all things okay. syrup-based. Um, I'm all, well, given my background, Jamaican, um, we love cakes, anything fried. There's a codfish fritter that I love Ooh. to serve as like a, as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. Let me just flip this guy right here. Okay. And by the way, <laughs> if uh, Chef Bailey looks familiar, you may have seen him on Chopped. Yes. Oh, Wendy Williams. Yes. Wendy well. Williams. Nice. Yes, I did. Yeah, Chopped was definitely a challenge. <laughs> but yeah. Did you and work Wendy. shirtless for Wendy Williams as well? No, no, not yet. But I may be back. You never yeah. know. She was just like, you know what? She was kind of fascinated 
fascinated with the book. So yeah. Okay. We thought uh, so we were your only ones. So yeah. I've been running right. around half naked for a while now. <laughs> it's not something you hear every day. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, listen, I'm going to hold up this book uh, yeah. one more time so you guys can take a look. Congrats on the book. Thank 50 you so much. ways to keep, keep your, your mate in bed, bed yeah. cooking in boxers. And uh, as the man said, you might want to wear an apron here and there. Yeah. I don't know, when you're using hot uh -huh. oil. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies too. Ladies can wear Please. the boxes too. Don't think it's just men cooking for women. It's ladies can throw on some right. boxes and do their thing. All right. <laughs> cool. Mark Anthony Bailey, thanks so much for stopping Thank by. You we'll see so you again much. soon. For sure. Definitely dig Thank in. You. For the complete <laughs> recipe, Chef Bailey's featured, head over to HoustonLife.tv.